How you doing, everybody? Uh, once again, this is another uh, Washington rant. Um, today in this um, rant, I want to begin to share with you the, the series about the law of love. Um, in this particular rant today, I'm just going to do a, a brief introduction about uh, what I'm referring to about the law of love. Uh, first, first of all, we, we have to understand um, what, we, what I'm talking about when I say the law of love. Um, well, when I use the analogy of the law of love, I'm, I'm talking about the, the basic standards that are, that, that's been uh, dictated to us about how to love one another and also even to love the Most High God, you know. And there, there are a lot of different standards. I just want to throw some out for you. Uh, first, of, first of all, the, the most obvious standard is um, dealing with action. Uh, we believe that in love, you know what I'm saying, uh, action is what defines what love is, you know. And within the action, then we begin to do, um, do different things. Like, uh, say, for example, in, uh, you're in a relationship and stuff, right? And your significant other, right off the back, um, begin to... Um, Put put out um, things that that she that she like and things that she did dislike, and the things that she probably like would be something you know goes on the line of well, um, I, I like for my man to be loyal. I like for my man to uh, you know fear God. I like for my man to um, um, dress well. I like for my man to shave. I like for my man to don't shave. I like for uh, my man to be athletic build. I like for my man to be uh, not athletic built. Uh, I like for my man to be financially stable. I like for my man to not be financially stable. I like for my man to uh, to be um, educated or sophisticated, so so it can uh, challenge her mind. Then others, you know, they like for that man to you know be a thug. That way, um, that that person who's a thug or a gangster, they can have that form of security or, or protection, you know. And there's, there's different things like that, even though I'm for, for the men and stuff, you know, same same um, token. Uh, you know, they prefer they prefer for they want to be on, uh, you know, bright caramel skin, you know, caramel mocha, whatever color. Some want what they want to be chocolate. Uh, some uh, they prefer to prefer for they want to be big bonnet. Others prefer for they want to be slim bit built. Uh, others want they want to be athletic built. Um, uh, some want they want it to be, you know, intellectual. Others want they want it to be, you know, ratchet, you know, or even a thought, you know what I'm saying? Or, you know, there's, there's different things like that and stuff, you know what I'm saying? And all these um, things is go conclusive with the the law of love that I'm talking about. Um, basically, in this law of love, everything will, when, when you um put out different demands and stuff, right, then it becomes a law, you know what I'm saying? Now the question is: Is it wrong for 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 you to want different things out of your significant other? Not necessarily, but what makes it wrong is that when it becomes a requirement. Now, if you um understand the the whole power of love, which I will um begin to uh, teach through, throughout this uh, different uh, rant series, is that um love is is meant to be be free. It's it's meant to be set apart, and it, it's meant to be a divinely um action you know what i'm saying not just a uh, a demand you know what i'm saying not not something that you you make somebody do Dude, you can't make nobody love you you know what i'm saying you can't make nobody love you the way that you want them to love you neither and stuff and and through this that's why so many relationships are in the condition that they're in right now uh where it's so many divorces happening so many broken relationships so many misguided relationships uh, um um and just you know, just to be honest with you, um, you know, I'm I'm not um homophobic at all, but you know, I do have to talk about the reality of it, and that's that's um and that's the whole reality of you know um um homosexual relationships and stuff as well is because uh, the whole core of it is that um, either the man or the woman had dealt with something very traumatic in their past, you know, say whether well, it was abuse or relationship abuse or whatever it happened, it caused them to uh, to be in that particular mindset and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Now, I'm not saying that um, by you choosing to to um, live your lifestyle, I'm not condoning you or saying that, you know, you're, you're um, less than anyone here and stuff, which you're not, because ultimately you're still doing the same exact thing as um, 
uh, heterosexuals in their relationship too. The same exact, um, the same exact concept, the same exact stuff that you still deal with. You know what I'm saying? It, it doesn't change. It's because you change gender. That doesn't mean the problems is going to be better. You know what I'm saying? The problems actually still exist. You know, regardless of whatever relationship, you could be, be in a relationship with a monkey, as far as I'm concerned. But the the whole point about it is that it's still the same thing. You're still going to deal with different situations within the relationship. You know, so uh, and I'm 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 figuring out and I'm understanding that we we have to understand this whole process about uh, true unconditional love. We are you know, before we can understand that, we got to understand that um, that. How the way our mindset is is that we we are using love as a pure law, you know what I'm saying? Where people can't even function. Um, where it's it's to the to the point where people are so afraid to make a mistake in the relationship, you know what I'm saying? Because they feel like there's gonna be a consequence behind it, which it do be consequence behind it. Let's be real about it. Let's talk about it. You know what I'm saying? Like let's uh, say for example with um, uh, women, when when you be upset, you be upset your man or woman or you know what whatever and stuff right the very first thing that you do and let's be real about it is that you end up on cutting that man off from um you know um making love to you having sex or however way you want to put it and stuff you know what i'm saying the reason why you do that is because it's a psycho psychological thing and stuff if, if you're not aware of it or not and simply put what are you doing is that you're literally exercising the law you know what I'm saying? In other words, you're giving the penalty, you know, for the for the um consequences or whatever action that occurred uh, within that relationship. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if they step out of the boundaries or whatever you whatever you set and stuff, right then that would be the consequences right there or the actions, which you know, in most cases be you know uh, no sex or the other consequence would be you know you um belittle the person, talk down on them. You know what I'm saying? Another one um, reaction would be um. You you uh, probably stop talking to them for a long period of time, where you just block them. You know what I'm saying? Just to teach them a lesson and stuff. You know, and it's uh, don't don't feel bad about this women because because men are notorious for doing the same exact thing. They do the same exact thing too. Where they're like, well, you want to do this? Well, instead of me cutting you out from sex, I just go around go and have sex with somebody else just to teach you a lesson for breaking the rules that that I set forth. You know what I'm saying? The law that I set forth. You know what I'm saying? Same as that thing, same as that answer, is it it's interchangeable, you know what I'm saying? So we, we have to get to a point, you know what I'm saying, um a realizing, you know, consciously and subconsciously that dude, you can't put no law in love at all and stuff. Love is meant to be free. The reason why I say that love is meant to be free because just like we say in, in every aspect or every religion or every understanding or even for, uh um, philosophy or whatever we know a part and we understand a part that, that God is love so the question is is the if if uh, if you are placing love as a law what you're really doing is placing God as a law too that he's a law you know what I'm saying because we understand that God is love you know what I'm saying so if you if you placing even the creator himself as a law you know what I'm saying then how in the, how in the world you you'll spend for your relationship to even work, you know what I'm saying? When you place in even the Creator Himself into a huge box, where, where He can't even function and operate into your life how the way He wants to, you know what I'm saying? Likewise, you're doing the same as that thing with your significant other, placing them into a huge box, and once when they um break that box or break that rule, then that's it. It's a wrap, you know what I'm saying? And you you ready to either break up with them, you are to you you ready to divorce them, you ready to do all this other stuff on punishing them and everything, you know what I'm saying? So, so um. And as I um go deeper into this, just like I say this is an introduction, but as I go deeper into this, uh, just really um breaking it down about the the law of love and stuff. Uh, my whole purpose and my whole intentions is that I want to uh just really challenge us um to really think. You know what I'm saying? Um, 
with our intellect and also challenge us to think spiritually as well you know what I'm saying about this whole situation so we can really just reevaluate ourselves you know what I'm saying um uh, within this uh, I'm also learning keep in mind I'm also learning this myself too this ain't something that somebody just just so happy came and taught me or a doctor that somebody taught me it, it ain't nothing at all it's this is something purely that that the one the most high God was sharing with me and stuff you know what I'm saying through through my times of prayer and meditation and stuff especially going through the, the stuff that I've been going through too um so uh whatever he's sharing with me uh, I want to share it with you as well and stuff and we could just start moving forth and start healing this land you know what I'm saying because our land is real messed up and it ain't just in America it's period it's globally around the world that this land is messed up just like I said in, the, in my last rant and stuff, it's almost as though it's the universe itself is against everything that's going on. The universe itself is hurting. You know what I'm saying? So, um, so, so my, my time is on up now. Once again, I'm going into more in details about the law of love. But until then, if you have any questions, come in, feel free and stuff. You know, I can want to share um, more of my um input about this matter and, and share with you even further until then remember on fight faith with faith i'm always praying with you as well and y'all be safe out there god bless y'all